Hey everybody, just uh, just went to the uh, the baseball card shop, and while there, yes, I did get some baseball cards uh, <clears throat> and some basketball. Um, but also while there, I found something crazy. I don't know if everybody remembers these, the Pro Set Superstars music cards. How crazy! And my favorite thing. So remember Janet, remember Michael. George Michael, of course. MC Hammer, Billy Idol, Madonna, but frickin' Nelson, frickin' Nelson. That's crazy. Sorry, boys, I forgot about you, and your and your beautiful hair. But this ought to be this ought to be wild. So I think these came out like ninety, ninety-one, somewhere in that range. Uh. So I, I don't even know who that's in here, but it looks like uh, rock, pop, and rap stars. Let's see if their idea of rock, pop, and rap is the same as mine. So, yeah, man, process. That's crazy. <laughs> nice. All right, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Oh, my. I'm going to have to do the scissors on these. I'm going to eat these corners up. Don't do it. Nothing like the uh, feeling of cardboard when you start using your scissors, but we didn't do that. Yeah, these are going to be. Oof. There we go. Oh, maybe I should start the. I'll, I'll try the other side this time. Let's see. All right. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, ooh. Eric Clapton. Excellent. All right. So, Clapton, we know because he is a legend for multiple reasons. Michael Penn, I know the name. Colin James, I do not know the name. <laughs> oh, Blues Travelers, this must be a little later. Uh, <clears throat> hmm, that would be the first band in space. Me too, brother, me too. Madonna, of course. In excess, very underrated. Uh, Fate's Warning. So I'm doing two, two steps, two, two. Uh, what do you call it? Piles here. Those I know, and those I don't really know. Sorry, everybody, the Fate's Warning fans. I really don't know. Goo Goo Dolls. Oof. I know of them, but hey now. Heavy D and the Boys. Sorry, guys. Poco. Ah. Uh. Ooh, the Instant Win Game. <gasps> I don't. Yeah. Ten cents off your next purchase of Super Stars. It's probably you know. 20 years too late, so let's see if I can get this to open up on this side. Okay, there we go. Get that going. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that's going to be great. So many artists, I'll have no idea who the heck they are. We're going to have to Google them. It's like they went to the re the, the, the record label. It's like, all right, give us your, give us your most not known artists and we'll, uh, we'll make cards for them. D A D. I have no idea. This must be upside down. Ooh, Ario Speedwagon, another great band that's under underappreciated, I think. Uh, Jeff Healy Band. Okay. The Boogie Down Productions. I do not know. Oh boy, Alias. Yeah, I know Alias. <laughs> Shy. I do not know. Smithereens. We know the Smithereens. Historic concerts. That's cool. The doors, man. Who wouldn't like to have gone to that show? And then the next question is, who who would who wouldn't who would like to have gone and actually remember they were there? Ooh, there's some stuff in the crowd. Uh, Simple Minds, we know that. More of these. Let's get these skizzers over here. Come on, we gotta get some George Michael here, people. It's like it's like Usually you're looking for those big hits with like the Magic the Gathering boxes or your, your your sports cards, but I want me I want some George Michael, dude. Maybe some Tears for Fears would be would be super solid too. All right, what do we got here? Morrissey. Ah. Shame on me. Oh, we all know Lita. Lita Ford, man, great, great, great guitarist. Nice. Teddy Pendergrass, we know Belinda. Tolok, yeah, we do. Tom Petty, we know Tom Petty. Bonnie Ray, also amazing. 
King's X we know. Ah, Annihilator. Two things. My favorite Canadian metal band. And two, my only Canadian metal band that I know of. But, although Sebastian Bach from Skid Row is from, from up beyond. Uh, but yeah, Alice in Hell is just, it's like, it's one of the best uh, metal songs I ever heard. Love it. Love it. Here we go. Let's see. UB40. Know him. Don't know any of their stuff. Crosby, Stills, and Nash. You betcha. Ah! Debbie Gibson! Ah! I mean, I was more of a Tiffany guy. But what are you going to do? Ooh, maybe we'll get a Tiffany. Ah! There's Delson! Hey, boys. Oh, my God. Uh, what do they have? Love and Affection and uh, After the Rain. Huge, huge hits right out the, right out the gate. And then Grunge. <clears throat> Law and Order. Ooh, there's more Nelson. Jackson. What's the other guy? It's Jackson. Is that a Fender? No, that's probably a Jackson Charvel. Anyway. <laughs> Cheap Trick. Super, super tight. I don't know the Chromax. The Party. Nice. Historic Concerts. Ooh, Cream. That's awesome. Look at those posters. Those are classic, man. I love those old posters. Nice. <laughs> Given the stature enjoyed by guitarist Eric Clapton today, I don't know if he enjoys the stature, but it is almost inconceivable to think that the most renowned band he'd fronted, Cream, could have played as small a venue as the original Fillmore Auditorium, which sat or stood barely 1,500 people. But that's tight, dude. You get those small venues, it's, it's, it's so much better. Uh, Cream was the first... English band after John Mayall's Blues Breakers to focus almost exclusively on long extended improvs uh, and thus elevated virtuoso instrumental playing within rock to an art form. All three members of rock's first power trio, which along with Clapton included Jack Bruce on bass, Ginger Baker on drums, were rooted in the blues. Yeah, man. They, oof. Definite, definite, definite legends. And thank you so much because we couldn't have got where we are today without that. Yeah, I wonder if they got. I wonder if they got uh, the Hendrix Estate. Uh, Hendrix Estate to allow them to make a card. That would be super cool. Bing bong. Let's see what we got here. Jefferson Airplane, nice. Jefferson Airplane times two. Oh, I should probably look at that and say, hey, do we? Yeah, there are card numbers, so. Probably won't get a whole set here, but and these seem to be upside down, so let's fix that. Bazia, no idea. Ah, Zach Wild. Yeah, does anybody anybody not know that? Yeah, Zach Wild. Okay. Gypsy Kings. De La Soul. No of the names. We'll go with it. Lynch Mob, dude. George Lynch. Oh, I didn't even notice. Jeff Pilsen played in that band. That's crazy. Well, not crazy, because, you know, docking. Uh, George Lynch, awesome, awesome, awesome guitar player. Love it when Doc can get together and actually get along. <laughs> Crimson Glory, uh, I don't know. This is when music got... This is the one thing about, like, rock. It just got to a point where if you're pretty and you can adequately hold a tune, it was good. But, yeah, the music's way more important. Pretty Boy Floyd, I know of the name. Don't know the music. Ooh, look at that, The Who. That's crazy. That's a that's a crazy, crazy historic concert we all would love to have seen. Bink. Okay. Dude, <laughs> I am so not going to get a Jane Jackson or a George Michael. I can feel it. <laughs> Forgot. I got Nelson though, right? So what, what can I complain about? <laughs> well, let's see. So that's that. That'll help. Look at the ah, nice. Got a duplicate of the Clapton. Very nice. Lord Tracy. At least I look like like they're not super pretty boys. So that that kind of helps. The Speedwagon again. Jeff Healy band again. Soundgarden. Oh man, look at that. So this has to be like 94, these cards come out then. Hmm. Yeah, man, Soundgarden, that's awesome. 
alias. We again. I almost don't want these guys to touch. Sorry, guys. Here's a good George Michael. That's on the Debbie Gibson. <laughs> George Michael. Super, super talented dude. Super pretty too. Come on, guys. Leave, leave, give us a chance. Uh, Wham! The group George Michael founded in the early 1980s with partner Andrew Ridgely gave its final performance before a crowd of 72,000 at Wembley Stadium in England in June 26, 1986. Or on June 26. But if the show closed the chapter on one era, Wham! sold over 38 million records during its brief existence. It also stirringly ushered in a new one for George Michael because George Michael is amazing. Uh, Debbie Gibson, God, she looks 12 in that picture. Wow. Anywho, oh, yeah, there they go. Familiar? Yes. Oh, and another dupe on the classic concert. <coughs> that was my Tiffany. Yes, and in the comments, please go ahead and laugh at me for, for, for liking Tiffany. And, dude, I remember people used to fight over that, dude. <coughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> <laughs> Things that don't matter to us that we used to fight about. It's crazy. But, uh, <coughs> Tiffany. <coughs> I'll be sure. I know the name. Madonna. There she is at it again. Martika. Know the name? Uh, I'm going to read it. Uh, Cuban American singer, songwriter, actress Martika grew up in a Southern California speaking. Uh, uh, both Spanish and English, a talent she utilized in her self-titled debut album, which included the hit Toy Soldiers. Toy Soldiers, that's right. She began singing and dancing lessons at four and developed into a promising ballerina before getting the acting bug. Martika has appeared on the in the film version of Annie and several TV programs. Yeah, Toy Soldiers, man. The London Choir Boys. I kind of know the name, but... Dude! That looked like Satchel from... Steel Panther or what? Nice. He's a time-traveling rock god. Yeah, there's Debbie, Debbie Gibson with the more of an adult face that I actually recognize. Nice. Ah, Scorpions! Nice. Man, what another great band. German. German band. Canadian. My friends, the Canadian, uh, are the Annihilator. Awesome, dude. That's great, man. I just want to go listen to all this music right now. Bruce Hornsby. Very nice. Uh, Steppenwolf? What the heck does that say? The Buddy Miles Express. Oh, Hendrix. There we go. What's the matter with me? A lot, but... Uh, long considered to be one of Hendrix's most spectacular concerts, his Winterland appearance also marked his true, uh, his true arrival on the San Francisco psychedelic scene. According to the show's promoter, Bill Graham, Hendrix had now matured as a guitarist, band leader, and songwriter to represent the prototype artist of modern time, a musician accepted and adored with total abandon by all who came to hear, see, and feel his magic, as important feel. Among the many songs Hendrix played that weekend were Fire, Manic Depression, Foxy Lady, Hey Joe, Purple Haze. The most uh, the famous poster art was drawn by Rick Griffin and Victor Mos Moscoso. Yeah, man. <sighs> Hendrix. I wonder what the... If you could find the original art, I wonder what that would... Uh, how much that would put you out. A ton, probably. But, I don't know. It's original art. I, I, I would take it. The Almond Brothers. Oh, there he is. I already have one, folks, but this guy. I picked up the guitar originally because of Eddie Van Halen, but then when I heard this, I can't even think of a word that would describe him under a god. Just, oh my god, the stuff that he did. The classical influence. Oh, man. So good, so good. Yeah, man, Randy Rhodes. Oof. What a terrible, terrible tragedy. We lost him in '82 in a in a foolish uh, airplane accident. Which I don't even want to talk about. Uh, <coughs> Starship. So, wait a minute. 
so this after we uh, split with Jefferson. Yeah, Grace Slick. Oh, okay. Grace Slick left. Yeah, I'm sorry, boys. Without Grace Slick, I don't. It, for me, it doesn't work. Soundgarden. There she is. Wow, I used to have a crush on her. She um, still still beautiful woman. But um, when she she had done a little small guest spot on a TV show called um, God, what's the name of it? Different Strokes. Yeah, man. Beautiful, beautiful, super talented woman. Uh, Tom Petty. Ah! There he is. Ah! What's up? <laughs> My friend tells me this guy's got, um, he has a, um, like a home remodeling show. On I don't do the TV cable thing anyway, but he's on there and he'll like be doing these terrible drop and terrible like rhymes and lines for himself. It's got to be hysterical, but... I, can, I appreciate the man for, you know, he, he was going, going, going. The money was just coming so fast. He just kept spending it. And then one day, whoosh, just dried up. Dude went broke and reimagined himself. I think he's in a he's in a metal band, too, now. So, crazy, crazy stuff. Uh, Sisters of Mercy? Don't know. Sanctuary? Don't know. <laughs> Vanilla Ice, man. That's awesome. And everybody remembers one of two songs, I think. Well, unless, you know, I don't know. I really didn't get deep into his stuff. But there's two songs I remember. And it's it's either the the song, um, I can't remember the name of it. The one where he took the, so, so basically that's number two. the uh, When he took the uh, the bass line and the piano uh, from uh, Queens Under Pressure. And then the one I remember more is the, the ninja song from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. Go Ninja, Go Ninja. But anyway, if they were paying, I'd have done it. Oh, nice. John Lennon. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, love me some John Lennon. Look at that. John Lennon's music and message uh, live on. Just as the Persian Gulf War was breaking out, an updated all-star rendition of his classic Give Peace a Chance was issued. Was it his's? Or was it McCartney get no credit for anything? Okay, anyway. It probably was his. I don't know. Many of his greatest performances with the Beatles and after are collected on the motion picture soundtrack album Imagine. The four CD box uh, Lennon in 1990 provides a retrospective as, of his post-Beatles work. Some of it was weird. Some of it was radio-friendly, whatever. His, his stuff is good, though. I like a lot of his stuff. Some of it's weird, of course, like I said, but most of his stuff is great. Jimmy Page, uh, another guy that's just, you know, absolutely, definitely a legend. Energy Orchard. Billy Idol. Dude's like two feet tall and he's just like the shizzles. Oh, there's another great George Mike. Look at that. Wow. Anywho, uh, back to Rat. Let's see. Who's who's actually... Uh, there's... Because like, this is when Steven Spearcy was out of the band already. Yeah, that, that band is still touring and I guess like they even got to the point where they've... Um, like the band's pretty much all new members and they've actually kicked out Warren Demartini who I believe founded the day, the, the the band so yeah crazy that's why you gotta protect your stuff people um yeah George Michael look at that handsome devil uh even before the breakup of Wham George Michael had begun to make his impact as a solo artist first with a single Careless Whisper which was the band then with a different corner the first British number one hit written song arranged produced by the same man his first single after the dissolution of Wham was I Knew You Were Waiting For Me, a duet with Aretha Franklin. Not a bad way to start, brother. Steelheart. Know him? It's funny. Little Feet. Ah! <laughs> That's crazy. Aw, oh, Not Quite Legends. Look at this guy. He knows he's the shiz. Ooh! It's one of my favorite bands all time, dude. Oh, my God. They, st they, still, uh, they still tour. Um, they still get together once in a while and, and, and work. Um, they promised, yes, Nuno, you promised us uh, a new album at the last show. So keep working, guys. Appreciate it. But they were amazing, dude. Great show, great show. I saw them up here in Portland. Uh, and then they hung around after the show and shook hands with as many people as they could. They were so gracious and amazing and appreciative of us. We appreciated them. And you guys come, I'm going again. So count on that. And I'm buying the new album, which, you know, I'll just send the money now. It'll help with the cost. Let's 
It's another Jimmy Page. Who doesn't want that guitar? I mean, not that, maybe that specifically one, but um, yeah, I definitely would like to get one of those. And if you get an Epiphone version, which is not the Gibson, which you know this guy's got, the Epiphone version is around twelve hundred bucks. Uh, we're looking at the eight thousand range for, and that's like a new one, not even the uh, the vintage. So um, just you know, as I've learned, be happy with what you can get. <laughs> Steve Miller, uh, dude's like uh, like at thirty thousand tracks you know, guitar tracks on each of his songs, so when they try to play live, it doesn't quite work out, I guess. Uh, and Vogue, look at that, I'm ruining it, so you see when they come in. Young MC, nice. MC Hammer, we love the Hammer. More cheap trick. Soul to Soul, know them. Ah, Bonham, nice. More for Jason Bonham than, the, like, the whole band, because he's, he's, he's a pretty sick drummer, just like his dad. Uh, he's, he's doing stuff now, uh, I think it's The Circle with Sammy Hagar. Sammy Hagar, yeah, he's still going. Dude looks like, dude's like 70 and he looks like he's 42, maybe. 45. Crazy. Well, it's just like, I don't know, man, maybe that tequila brand you had is, uh, it's like got the elixir, elixir in it. But, you know, hey. Ah, it's see Zeppelin. Look at that, that's a great shot. And right after that... That's an even better shot. Look at that. That's crazy. Wow. They would have been amazing to have seen. Voivod. I uh, kind of think I know. Cher. We know Cher. Sacred Reich. We know Sacred Reich. Karen White. We do not know. Fleetwood Mac. Wow. What a great band. House of Lords. Historic concerts. Who do we got this time? Cream. Cream again. Uh, Paul Butterfield Blues Band. But I think it says Cream's there. So, yep. Yeah. Yep. Whew. Doing pretty good here. Got a, lot of, got a lot of cool stuff. A lot of memories here. So funny, some of these things. Yeah, I have this bad feeling that Tiffany's not in this thing. I'm very sad. Ooh, there we go. The Who. Another great band. Maxi Priest. Don't know Maxi Priest. Hunters and Collectors. Don't know. Perfect Gentleman. See what they're going for. They probably are. Who knows? Tone Loke. Yeah. I'm on it! <laughs> yeah. We just, I think we just lost Lemmy like a, a couple of years ago. Which is too bad. That guy's, that guy's, man, the stories I've heard, that guy is metal. Linear, I don't know what we're doing here, but okay. The party. Yeah, she actually is another, another pretty lady. She's been around for a long, long, long time, too. Good actress, too. I like, I like, uh, so there was The Mask, which she was good. Uh, Moonstruck, I think, was pretty good. But really, uh, I think it was called Little Mermaids with um, Winona Ryder, too. I really like that a lot. <coughs> hey, Paula Abdul. Awesome. Ah, Hall and Oates. Yes. These guys. That's crazy. Yeah, I love these guys. Dude's got his mirrors, sunglasses. His, his mirrors on the inside. I don't know. Dread Zeppelin. Yeah, we know Dread Zeppelin. Woo. Let me see Hammer. Kiss. Jesus. Like me some kiss. Eric Carr, we lost him to cancer, I think, 91. Same, same, probably right, right in the same area we lost Freddie Mercury. Um, very sad. Uh, Eric Carr had cancer, and then Freddie, of course, died of AIDS, so not, not good. Um... Janet Jackson again, very nice. Who would have got here? Big Brother and the Holding Company. The film. I do not know Big Brother. I should probably get off my tail. Dangerous Toys. We know Dangerous Toys. They had a cool video. I don't remember the song, of course, but I remember that freaking clown. <laughs> Man. It's a good mascot. Like Megadeth had uh, Victor, I think his name is. And then Iron Maiden has, I don't know who Iron Maiden, Eddie, I think it is. I don't see Iron Maiden and Megadeth in here. <laughs> Maybe they didn't want to hang out with them. That's weird. Yeah, that's a nice shot of the doors. Ted Nugent. 
Look at this guy. It's crazy. Dude, I bet I bet he can't even play acoustic because it's just it's just not loud enough. <laughs> Trouble. There's Madonna being Madonna. There's Nelson being Nelson. <laughs> Motorhead. Ah, Lionel Richie, yeah. The alarm, I know the alarm. XL. I do not know XL. this up yeah okay I didn't okay uh Zeppelin it's Paige doing his thing yeah there's this there's a movie I gotta go back and watch um Song Remains the Same was a big concert video for those guys but it's all super trippy and psychedelic but that's cool Sabotage you know Sabotage Pretenders Chrissy Hine man awesome Tina Turner where's her legend really you guys dropped the ball on that one I think you're a legend, Dina. Don't worry about them. George Michael again. Ozzy. Ozzy doesn't get a legend. Really? All right. Bad English. I'm surprised they didn't get one. Ah, oh, the birds. Wait a minute. The birds and Fleetwood Mac. That's crazy. Reminds me of my brother. Uh, my brother is a, is a little... Is couple decades older than me but he went to see i think it was 69 he said he went at syracuse university he saw crosby stills and nash and young and simon and garfunkel and it cost him like six bucks <laughs> six bucks six bucks you can't even like that's like the the handling fee for Ticketmaster. that's crazy that's awesome that's okay all things must change. Violence. Sorry, guys. I definitely. Sorry. Bobby Brown. Shy. All night long. Where'd my money go? I'm sorry, man. It's not funny. But, you know, I didn't ever have that kind of money, so it's, you know. Yeah. Oh, oh the sadness begins. There's only two left. I want tippity cards. I'm oh, sorry. Got that, got that, that, uh, George Michael, which you can't see, but it's on the, so, got that George Michael. That Jana would be nice. Maybe we'll get lucky in this last pack. All right. I guess this is the, not the right way. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Ian McCullough. Digital Underground. Know the name. We'll go with that. Oh, yes. Nice. <clears throat> Hit it, Jimmy. Damn, son. Sheer magic from that guy. Indecent Obsession. Okay. Doro Pesh. Yeah, we know Doro. Uh, Hot House Flowers. Creepy Neighbor. Should have washed your hair and dried it. That's okay. It's all good. Hello, Cool J. Yes, I'm. The cult. Colin James again. I have no idea. 247 Spies. Okay. Ooh, Zeppelin and the Bonzo. Dog Band. Rolling Kirk. Rolling Stones. Wait a minute. They all there? Known as the father of metal, Led Zeppelin was almost instantaneously popular, and their first appearance as a headliner in San Francisco, which coincided with the release of their first two LPs, was a deafening, eye-opening affair, led by guitarist Jimmy Page, singer Robert Plant, bassist John Paul Jones, and drummer John Bonham. Led Zeppelin was the first English group to establish a worldwide reputation by concentrating on live concerts, primarily in the U.S. By the time their hit song, Stairway to Heaven, was released in 71, only the largest arenas and stadiums could accommodate the band's rapid following. Yeah, that's crazy, dude. They had their own plan. Oh, my God. Nuts. All right, this is it. Let's get one more super cool hit. Yeah, I'm glad they got Hendrix uh, in there. That's that's awesome. I still left it up. Bob Marley, nice. And it just happened to be upside down. Ah, oh, Richard Marks. We all know Richard Marks. 
Where's Rick Astley in this, guys? I'm just kidding. It's after him. Uh, I'll be sure. Oh, yeah. Living Color, man. What a great band. One of the best rhythm sections. I uh, Well, not maybe the best ever, but one of the ones I enjoy the most. Yngwie. Yo, man, that's not your shtick, you dirty taker away or a sneaky trick over a the bell. MC Hammer, that's right. Can't stop the hammer. Fate's warning. And <laughs> Red Zeppelin again. Oh, the clash, yeah. Dude, did we just end it with Roxette, the epitome of the era? That's crazy. Nice. Here today, gone tomorrow. Well, it was awesome. I had a lot of fun. Hopefully, hopefully you guys had a lot of fun. Uh, and some memories washing up out of that. That was crazy fun. Um, yeah, so we'll be keep looking because uh, we'll be hitting, we're we'll bringing some more of this crazy old non-sport fun. Um, probably going to be doing some more some some sports soon. Um, we did, of course, as I said, I went to the sports to the uh, baseball card shop and bought uh, some some bo a couple boxes of things to open, um, which we'll be opening soon. And uh, of course, I got some baseball cards that I will probably share. Not to mention loads of comic books that I've yet to finish going through. So I got to sort those before I can get them on here because there's an immense amount of them. Um, but yeah, cool. Hope you had a good time. Hope you'll be back and uh, see you soon. Thanks.